Hello everyone! Valentine's Day is right around the corner. If you want to see how to make this beautiful fruit bouquet, just keep watching. Here's what you'll need. Alright, take your vase and what I did to just make it so it's not so see-through and kind of looks fuller is just drop some grapes down in there, then take your head of lettuce and just put it right on top so you're able to put your skewers inside. Next, just start off by skewering some of your fruit. I started off with strawberries. I then moved on to grapes. About five to six per skewer worked well. Blueberries, about five to six per skewer. Alrighty, now onto the pineapple. If you pull one of the stems out and it comes out easy, that means the pineapple is ripe and ready to go. Start cutting the pineapple into circle shaped discs. Alright, take your heart shaped cookie cutter, put it in the center, press down, kind of swivel it a little bit, take a paring knife just cut around it so that it loosens away from the edge. Voila! A beautiful pineapple heart! Next, take your melting chocolate. I have milk chocolate and vanilla. These were neat because they were microwavable, so all I did was pop it in the microwave for 60 seconds, stir, and then microwave an additional 15. Ready to go! Take your parchment paper and place your hearts about 2 inches apart. Time for the drizzle. I just went ahead and drizzled away. Some I did full hearts and then the other ones I did just half of the heart to kind of give some variety. Now time to dump the strawberries into the chocolate, place them on some parchment paper and let them cool. Now to give them a little bit more pizzazz, I went ahead and took the vanilla chocolate and drizzled it over the milk chocolate. I also made some vanilla dipped strawberries and drizzled the milk chocolate over those. all of your fruit that you have skewered and pop it into the head of lettuce, pretending you are designing a floral arrangement. Looking back on this now, make sure that you skewer your pineapple hearts before you drizzle the chocolate. It'll make it a lot easier. Almost finished! Now we're just going to take the filler of kale and just pop it into kind of any of the empty spaces just to make the arrangement look fuller. It's bow time! Pop on any color bow you like. I chose pink. And there you have it, a beautiful Valentine's Day fruit bouquet. This is very simple and easy to do, so we hope you give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do recreate this, please go tag us on Instagram at Summers in Alaska. We hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye! You want berries? Yeah! You do? Yeah!